All right, this is how we make a plate. We begin like we usually do, securing our clay onto our bat, looking for the center. You're going to wet your hands, focus on the flattest part of your palms. You're first going to center your form. Left palm is pushing forward as my right palm is pressing down simultaneously. You see I'm pushing into my form and it's rising. Then I'm pressing down with my right hand. As I keep my left palm on the side walls, Remember, you are centering, so any bumps that bump into you, you need to resist and push with your left as you press with your right. Here, I'm just making sure that it is centered. Okay, so when you throw a plate, you're actually going to center a little wider and lower than you would your bowl or a cylinder. So you're going to go ahead and press down a little wider than you normally do. And then you are going to, instead of create the hole or the opening like we normally do, you're actually just going to go ahead and position your right fingertip right on the outside and then your left fingertips, you're going to be pressing down on top and stretching that clay out. So to start, I'm using both my hands just to get it started. And then now I position my right middle finger on the side. As my left fingertips are pressing down with full control and pulling out. You could use your sponge if you want more of a flat surface if you can't control your fingers, so a sponge works just fine. Continue to firmly press down and pull out. Now you want to give your plate a slight curve just so that whenever you do have food on it, your food doesn't roll off the plate. It's got a slight curve so it'll contain it within the plate. Now I'm just compressing from the center and out and back in and out and that makes sure that I am blending my clay and I'm um, not going to get any s crocks in the middle okay so you continue to press down and pull out right fingertips are on the bottom outside pressing under giving it that extra curvature here's a different angle so that you could see what my fingers are doing Again, my right fingertips. Mostly my middle finger is the one that's creating that indention on the side as my left hand is pressing down and out, slightly curving upward. Notice that I slowed down my wheel. My right fingertips are giving my left hand support from the bottom. I keep pulling my walls or pressing down and out because my clay is still fairly thick. So I'm trying to get it as thin as I could.
Be very gentle when you release. And then finally, go ahead and absorb that liquid in the middle of your plate so it does not soften your base. We do a couple more compressions. And there you go, this is your plate. You will wire off and trim like you normally would any piece.